What's up guys and welcome back to another video. Today we're looking at the best assault rifles you can currently use in 2042. There is a good range of assault rifles you can use in 2042, however there are definitely certain ones that will give you the upper hand in gunfights and that's the ones I'm going to be covering in this video. As always, this is just my opinion and people will prefer different things. I try to pick a good variation of assault rifles when it comes to suiting people's playstyle as everyone plays the game differently, so I hope everyone can find this useful. If you do enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get into it. The AM40 is a weapon that I enjoy using a lot, mainly because it suits my playstyle. It's very much an SMG, but with a headshot multiplier of an assault rifle, which is a great combo. A high rate of fire, great mobility, and great hit fire accuracy. The recoil isn't the easiest to control, but you really shouldn't be using this weapon at long range, and even really at medium range. Sure, you can still kill people, but for it to be most effective, I think keeping your gunfights at short range is the best option. If you do challenge gunfights at medium range, you can kill people, but along with the bouncy recoil, you'll notice that it does have a good amount of spread, which is what lets this gun down at longer distances, along with its damage at that range too. This weapon is great at clearing out areas and plays well on breakthrough and redacted. The loadout is the rap suppressor, but if you struggle with the recoil I'd use the champion muzzle brake instead, then I have the LWG grip, I always like to be on the move with this weapon and it helps a bit with the accuracy, then the drum mag and the fusion hollow sight. The GU-46 assault rifle is in my opinion actually quite underrated. After receiving two nerfs throughout season 6, I thought this weapon was going to be awful. However, the nerfs it received was mainly aimed at lowering its effectiveness at longer distances. At short to medium range, this gun is still very powerful. It handles like an SMG but packs a punch of an assault rifle. And the only downside to this weapon is the lack of damage at longer distances and its 30 round mag. You can kill up to 3 enemies with it, but you will find yourself reloading a lot more often which could be a downside if you've pulled off a good flank. When it comes to recoil, it's minimal and the spread on this weapon also feels really good. I hardly burst fire when I use this weapon. Like I said though, it definitely feels and plays like an SMG, so if you're someone that likes to get aggressive, this weapon will be great for you. The loadout is the Warhawk Compensator, but I like to use the Raptor Presser. Then I go with the Beta G Light Grip, high power extended mags for more damage at range, and the Fusion Hollow Sight. The M5A3 always has to be included in these lists, a consistent weapon that I know is going to perform every time I use it. But the reason I like it and hold it in such high regards is down to its versatility and how it can be built to suit everyone. Whether you want to run a more CQC build or a medium range assault rifle, this gun has you covered. The best way to look at this weapon is a downgraded VHXD3. Stats wise they are pretty much identical but the only thing that really separates them is the accuracy and spread. The VHX is a lot better in that aspect. The M5A3 has very easy to control recoil but like I said the spread is what can let it down at times. If you opt to go for the CQC build you will have a rate of fire of 910 which is higher than the majority of the SMGs in this game. Personally, I like to run the build which is somewhat in the middle of being a CQC build and a standard assault rifle. Personally, I feel like when I use a CQC build, I put myself at a disadvantage when it comes to medium range gunfights. However, switching between the two ammo types is the best way to use this gun. So the loadout is the shortened barrel for the increase of rate of fire, the STNR laser sight, although I do also enjoy using the master key under barrel attachment, then the standard issue extended mags or the close combat for the CQC option and the fusion hollow sight. AR is a weapon that I consider to be a jack of all trades. Long, medium and short range, this gun works at all ranges. The spread can get a little bit wild at times, especially at medium range, but bursting with this weapon actually works better than a lot of the other assault rifles in this game. So at longer distances, that's what I tend to do more often than not. Another great thing about the SFAR are the under barrel attachments. Although not as powerful as they used to be due to the decrease in how many rounds you can carry, they are still really useful and interchanging between the different types works great. Switching between the two different ammo types which are the standard and the high power drum mag is the way to get the most out of this weapon. At longer distances use the high power drum mag and at short range switch over to the standard issue which increases the rate of fire. The loadout is the Yarkon muzzle brake for longer distances and for short distances I use the wrap suppressor. Under barrel attachments just use whatever you want as they're all pretty useful. Then like I said, the standard issue mags and the high power drum mag and switch between the two when appropriate. And for the sight it's the fusion hollow sight. The VHX is the best assault rifle in the game, I mean everyone is using it and has been using it all season. Even after the nerf it received it still remains the best. The main reason for that is because of its low spread and high accuracy. 
feels a little bit like what weapons played like before DICE introduced spread and dispersion into the game. Honestly, at short and medium range there is currently no better weapon to use and a lot of the time when I die using another weapon, the thought I have is that if I was using the VHX in that situation, I probably would have won that gunfight. A weapon that is a lot of fun to use but is definitely too powerful in its current state. Not much more to say about the VHX, I think we all know how good it is at this point. So let's get into the loadout. I use the wrapped suppressor, the BCG light grip, and the standard issue extended mags and the fusion hollow sight. So that's the 5 best assault rifles in 2042. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.